Good morning, friends. It's The Wondering Pro. It's Friday, April 9th. It's uh, six days before I start trail um, and wanted to give you guys a uh, video of kind of my sleep system. Um, I aired out my tent and everything last night. Uh, I wanted to air it out before I put it back in my pack and everything. So I decided just to sleep outside. Uh, good news, the uh, all of the two trees are knocked out from my parents' house. So I could actually get some, get some sleep uh, and get some videos done. So uh, I have the Big Agnes Copper Spur 2. Uh, so it's a two-person tent, but essentially it's just a one big one-person tent. Um, I have my stuff sacks here. I have, this is my stuff sacks, and this actually will hold the, the body of the, um, the body of the tent. And that will actually be packed on the outside of my, my backpack. Then I have the stuff sack for my tent poles. And that'll actually be strapped on the side of my pack. And then I have my bag for my tent stakes. Um, I have, probably have, I have a total of eight t tent stakes. I have uh, one on each corner. I have one guided out over here um, that I really don't use unless it's gonna, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of condensation uh, and then I have one over here <clears throat> and then one on the opposite side for the vestibules. Um, so at night I will end up um, putting my um, pack in here or inside depending on uh, how I feel and kind of the area. But this also comes out. So and then... As long as I don't tear it before. And so then I can guide that out. So then it, it creates a fuel vestibule in there. So I slept in here last night. Might as well, right? But what I do is then I just take this here and you have these guidelines that you can kind of tuck it. Well, I just tuck it underneath. And it works out great. You know, it's less, less for me to do, um, but it gets it out of the way. Um, it has two doors. It has a door over there and um, I flipped that other side open, um, just to give a little more ventilation. Um, I didn't know, I didn't think there was going to be any, any rain last night. Um, there was some rain kind of north. Um, and so I decided just to go ahead and put it on. Um, but generally I'll probably, if it's a great night, I'll leave the, the rain fly off and just tuck, tuck it inside here. And then if it starts raining or something, I can just always hop down and put it on. It's very easy to, to put it on. It just has these snap locks, just like that. And then that just, this tin is very user friendly. I, I practiced probably, uh, before heading up to it, I probably practiced twice a week putting it up and I can put it up in probably, you know, less than five minutes. Um, so it's very, very user friendly. Um, so let's go inside here and I'll kind of show you my sleep system. So also, I forgot to mention, my footprint, what I use, most people use Tyvek, a Tyvek ground sheet. I actually have a survival blanket um, so it's a little thicker, it's a little heavier 
Um, but I feel like this material, uh, especially in New Mexico, um, I won't sew as much wear through this in thorns and stuff not and whatnot. Um, also, it has reflectics on the other side. So if it's a cold night, I can actually flip that around and, um, you know, maybe use some of the reflectics to keep me warm. Um, but come on inside here. This is like my, my version of cribs, um, for those of you that remember that. Um, so I have, um, have it set up. I have the Nemo Disco 15 degree. It's the long version. Uh, there we go. It's the long version. Um, my thought process on that was to uh, have a little bit longer. Um, so then that way, longer bag. I went with a bag. Most people actually use a quilt. Um, I'm kind of a hot sleeper, but I just wanted the, the possibility of, you know, in the cold to, to really bundle up. So um, I'm kind of a traditionalist in that sense. Um, it's a really good bag, uh, but my thought process was for the long version is that if I have clothes or um, my shoes, um, I can put those in a, in a um, like a grocery bag and put those at my foot box to keep those warm and, uh, from freezing. Um, but also what I have is I have a sleep liner that goes inside of my bag here. Or I can just sleep on top of this or sleep in this liner um, as a um, as a protective to keep my my sleeping bag clean. Uh, you know, I hike throughout the day, so I want to keep that nice and clean. Um, and it's an extra layer <clears throat> layer of warmth whenever I get to do that. Also, I have on my um, my footprint here on my um, underneath my tent. I don't know if you can see this. It says hiker to town. I can also fold fold that up my footprint and use it to help get hitches uh, into towns. Um, but back to my sleeping bag here it has a little kind of layer of warmth here, almost like a little blanket. It's a mummy bag. Um, I also have a little side pocket here that I can use, that I can put in my phone or, you know, something to keep that warm. I plan on using, my, sleeping with my filter, my, my water filter if it gets too cold so it doesn't freeze. Um, also with this sleeping bag, it also has a place that if I wanted to, I could stuff in a, my sleeping pillow, or I could stuff clothes in there to make a pillow. Um, so I have that. I do have a, uh, Nemo, uh, Philo Elite pillow. Um, it's really easy to, it just pops here. So I just popped it. I think it's like three point something ounces, 3.2 ounces, I think. Um, it's great, I slept on that last night. And then also I have my sleeping pad. Uh, my sleeping pad is a Neo Air X-Lite long as well. Um, I'm, I may be switching to a small, um, just so that I can cut a few ounces and then also um, be able to put my my uh, pack in here. Um, and then I carry my sleeping pad in the pump sack that it comes with. So I basically, you just put the, put the filter up there to it, or the air, and then you just open it up and start pumping air in, so. 
Um, so that's kind of my sleep system. Um, so again, we're about six days from starting trail. So looking forward to it, starting to get excited uh, or getting excited. Just, uh, you know, it's a, the un anticipus, anticipation of the unknown. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're getting there. So, um, thanks for following along. Um, thanks for bearing with me on these videos that I'm learning to, uh, learning to go through, but, uh, appreciate everybody for all the love and support and, uh, looking for, uh, looking forward to a great time. Thanks.